The Apple Pie Tree Author Zoe Hall Illustrated by Shari Halpern Scholastic Incorporated My sister and I have a tree that grows the best part of an apple pie. Can you guess what it is? Apples! And every year we watch our apple tree grow. In winter our apple tree is brown and bare. But in spring, leaves grow on every branch. Look! Two robins are building a nest in our tree. See the kitty? Tiny pink flower buds appear on the branches. The robins chirp, loudly guarding their eggs. Just when flower buds open, baby robins break through the eggshell. Now our tree is covered with blossoms and the baby robins begin to grow feathers. When breezes blow, the petals fall to the ground. Mama and Papa Robin teach their little birds to fly. Some days it rains and the wind blows hard, but our apple tree is strong and the robins are safe in the branches. grow where the blossoms used to be. Soon it is summer. The apples get bigger and bigger. The little robins have grown up, but they visit every day. The branches bend down low. They are covered with big, round apples. Now it is autumn. The apples are red and ready to be picked. We fill our basket to the brim. Mom and Dad help us peel the apples. Cut them up and pile them into a pie shell. Then we sprinkle cinnamon and sugar over the top. Mom puts the pan in the oven.
At last, the pie is cooked and ready to be eaten. Our tree has grown an apple pie. It smells so good. And it tastes delicious. There is nothing as good as an apple pie you grew yourself. How bees help our apples grow. There's pollen and nectar. Step one. Inside each flower are tiny stems, some tipped with yellow pollen and some with sticky tops. Nectar, deep inside, smells sweet. Step two, the bright petals and sweet nectar attract bees. Pollen collects on the bees' bodies. Step three, as the bees fly from flower to flower, pollen clings to the sticky tops. This is called pollination. Step four, the petals fall off and the base of the flower begins to swell. This is the beginning of an apple. This is how we make our apple pie. Step one. Make the pie crust. Mix two cups all-purpose flour and one teaspoon salt in a large bowl. Cut up two-thirds of a cup of butter in small pieces and mix in. Sprinkle one-third cup ice water on top and mix till the dough makes a loose ball. Cut in half. Roll out one half on the floured board to form a circle 12 inches across one eighth inch thick. Gently place in a nine inch pie pan. Roll out remaining dough the same way and cover with a towel. Step two, fill the pie. Peel six to eight apples and cut them up, removing the centers. Put the slices into the pie pan. Sprinkle one teaspoon cinnamon and one half cup sugar over the slices. Step three, close the pie. Place the second circle of dough over the apples. Pinch the edges together and trim off the extra dough. Make small holes in the top. Step four, bake at 400 degrees for 50 minutes. Serve and eat. Yum!